blank rabbits. The rabbits where the <laughs> planks land into on the backbone of the boat. This one's the garboard rabbit coming now, but it obviously extends on up the stair, the stair man, the stern post, and into the transom. You cut them off, you find a sort of average of where the frames are. Well, no, to start off with, you cut the the lower rabbit, the outer rabbit line from the drawings, so that goes on and it's, and it's drawn on from the drawings, string line along the keel, keep it nice and straight and looking right. Some boats you'd have a curve in it, but this one, that's a, that's a string line, you can see it's chalk line there, that's the remains of it. Then from that, using a piece of wood which is the same thickness as the plank, so two inch in this case, or two and a, two and a bit, two and an eighth, um, Extend the front of the the, the, fa the face of the with a tapered edge like that. Run it down to find the position of the back rabbit. And from there, so you've got the, the, back, the back rabbit being the, the point the, where the where the the plank meets the, the top of the plank meets the inside meets the keel and and, that, and the well, dead wood in this case. And then by just by experimentation with your chisel or whatever, you. you Extend this so that it's flush down there and square at the bottom, and you check it with your check it with your planking block like that, and there you go along. And of course, it's the problem is that, particularly in the ends of the boat, there's a lot of twist. It rolls it rolls up from being 30, not 25 degrees of dead rise amidships up to vertical in the ends, and you don't want any lumps and bumps in that, or you won't get the plank around it. This will all have to be steamed, of course. Uh, but that's it really and then so I, I I'll lay off this side and then the other side is done by measurement so we put the put the, this line in the same with the lower rabbit and line in the same place and then measure up to to get it and then the bearding line which is the the, the one at the back is just where it where it it just automatically arrives by putting your straight edges in there and the square and just working away is it it's a bit of a it's, the, it's one of the harder jobs really getting the the ends of the rabbit, right? But uh, you know, just do the business of time. And what um, tools do you use to actually cut it? Uh, I, I actually start the cut with an Arbitec, you know, um, like a chainsaw head on an on an angle grinder, little ton tungsten carbide thing, just to get because this is green heart, so it's quite hard to to um, chisel away at. So get that get that in there to within a well where it's just a triangle cutting in like that to midships. Um, get within an eighth of an inch or so of it with the, with the Arbitec and then chisel. Um, and then when it becomes more, um, more vertical at the end here, and, and then on the big flat areas like that, that's the power plane. Power plane where you can get the power plane at it, so that's very fast really. And on the, the little curvy bit here, you can stick it to it by before it's fourth. And then you block, square, Steel rules, straight edges, and then the next thing is to, to, you get that far, and then you've got to check it with a plank or plank at the side, same time starting starting fairing the, the, um, the heels of the frame.
we're running out into the dead woods there. That's sort of marking the start of the rabbit will be there. Which is why the dead woods have gone in an inch thick. Well, two inches thinner, but an inch a side thinner. Otherwise, you'd just be hacking away to get the two inches in here. If this was solid two inches all the way, you'd just end up hacking away far more timber. So we'll still end up with a rabbit you know, back, back there. It'll still be 15 inches deep or 18 inches deep. But having removed a lot less timber to get there. <laughs> This is, the this is all nine inch sided and that's seven inch sided then. That's, the, that's that just the four edge of the stern post there. Okay. But the, the actual rabbit's back there somewhere else. Yeah. Um, yeah, there. So that goes in, at that point it goes in two inches to get the depth of the timber. But that here, it's gone in an inch already, but the rabbit will still run out yeah, up there. Just means we haven't got that sort of four feet, four square feet of inch. Thick green heart to remove. It's always a good thing. stationary locked on your leg like that okay. and beyond that yeah, so you're just sort of pivoting off a fixed point there um, beyond that start off not cutting anything so it's like hitting with the fat the back of the hands and then just move your hand down until it starts cutting so that the angle controls the angle controls it so if you went like that you just go in and stop and if you go like that you're not cutting anywhere bouncing off it. That's always the way to start a cut. You know, like this, skidding, and then just drop and drop until you start, start your cut. And it's a you know it's quite it's a sort of fine act, fine tool. It's not like an axe, you don't swing it, it's just chip chip chip. The old time to chop through a knot or something you might swing a bit harder, but and particularly on green heart, you're not gonna you're not gonna get far with it. But uh, Side of the rabbit. Yeah. That's the two-inch plank. So it runs through reasonably square. I need to ease that edge a little bit. It's a tiny bit open at the back, but it's not bad. Just get a pair of inches on it. Right at that. And then you've got another 150 feet to do. <laughs> 